Mrs. Dennis, the um, catering manager at Sprite Academy here. I would like to share a couple of recipes with you, which you can probably try at home. Right, the two the two dishes we're going to be doing today is a beef lasagna and chocolate crunch. Okay, um, of this the beef lasagna. Um, this is for um, roughly 25. Um, you're going to need 170 grams of marge or butter, um, 170 grams of plain flour, um, some mustard powder, salt and pepper, and one litre, 800 of milk. Okay. And then for the chocolate crunch, uh, this is for um, 24 tray bake. We have 340 grams of plain flour, 340 grams of self-raising flour, 340 grams of sugar granulated, uh, 340 grams of marge or butter which is melted, uh, two to three eggs and vanilla essence. Right, we're now going to move on to the lasagna. So in this bowl here I have um, 170 grams of margarine um, and in this bowl I've got 170 grams of plain flour with mustard powder, salt and pepper. Okay, um, and then over here in this pan I have some onion and I have my minced beef. Okay, I'm now going to turn on some heat. So. And then we're going to sweat the onions off. Okay. So we'll start by sweating your onions off on a low gas. Um, and I've got the oven preheated on number three. Okay, right, I'm now going to add the minced beef to the onion. Pop that in like so. That's it. Lovely. Right, we're going to incorporate that into the onion and we'll let that brown up. Like so. Take about 10 15 minutes. Okay, we've got to the stage now where the mince is browned nicely. Like so. And then into that. I'm now going to add some of my tomato sauce. tomato sauce that we use here um, and it's called Maggie Rich and Rustic sauce it's got all the herbs already in it but if you wanted to do you make your own you can buy chopped tomatoes um, tomato puree herbs you can put all in but I would suggest adding a bit of sugar so that it's not too tart otherwise it might be a bit bitter but you can buy this in supermarkets um, and it is very nice. Right, okay, so we're now going to move on to making the white sauce. So I'm just going to put a heat under that sauce bowl, like so. And then to that, we're going to add our 170 grams of large. In there, like that. And then we're going to let that melt. Once that's melted, we're then going to put our flour, mustard, salt and pepper in. Right, I've now made what we call a roux, which is putting the flour and the mustard powder into the large. And I'm now going to start adding my milk until we get the desired. It doesn't look that great right at this minute, but it will, it will all come together. going for a little while especially with lasagna you do need a nice thick sauce to coat your lasagna sheets otherwise it will just all run off and uh, won't be much good Thick. and we're now going to add some 
cheese to it. This is um, grated mozzarella and cheddar together. But you can just use normal cheddar if you want to. It's entirely up to you. Just get this cheese and pork back into the sauce.
using an antibacterial spray. There we go, lovely. And as we know, we must clean up in between cooking. And then I'm now going to walk over to the sink and wash my hands. We've now moved over to the other side of the kitchen, and we're now going to start prepping for our chocolate crunch. So in here, I've got 340 grams of margarine which in a minute we're going to melt and in this big bowl here I've got my plain flour, self-raising flour, sugar and cocoa powder. Okay, um, so the first thing we need to do is to melt the marge. vanilla essence in as well that just helps to lift the flavour. Right, just a few drops. If there's no need to beat the eggs up you can just pop them straight in as they will mix up. Okay and then I've got all my tin tin grease ready. Just a flat tin like this will be great. you're looking for nice and soft I'm going to take that out of there and we're now going to pop the mixture into that tin and then we'll start pushing it down into the tin like so okay so just with your knuckles push it like that right into the corners and that's it I think chocolate crunch is probably one of the oldest favourites of everybody. I reckon all your mummy and daddies love all this as well. There we go. And then start using the palm of your hand. Just to get a nice flat finish. Obviously at home it could take a bit longer because these are industrial ovens that we use but it could take a bit longer in your own. What I usually do now is just put a fork through 
top just to make a pretty pattern. You can do whatever pattern you like. You should just run a fork down it and leave it like so. There we go. Now, just get a little bit of water and put on the top. So while it's cooking, it doesn't dry out too much. And then on top of that, I'm just gonna sprinkle some sugar. There we go. Okay, right. And we're now ready to pop our chocolate crunch in, which we'll put there, middle shelf. And that again, that will take about 15, 20 minutes. And you're looking for a nice top that isn't too, that it's obviously not burnt, but just it's hard to the touch so that it's not too squidgy. You don't want it too squidgy, you don't want it too hard, you just want it 15, 20 minutes. Topping, but not too hard, and it's still nice and squidgy in the middle. Lovely. Here we go. So it's homemade beef lasagna and homemade chocolate crunch. So I really hope you've enjoyed this demonstration, and um, enjoy.